is Katia Bulic and I'm a registered psychologist in New South Wales, Australia. In the last session, we spoke about worry. What is worry and how do we identify worry? And also, what does it feel like in our bodies and also in our heads, right? We also identified what are the situations that are likely to trigger excessive worry and anxiety. So in this session, we will talk more about when um, does worry become a problem. And we will also start talking about two different types of worries and how can we manage them. So let's start with when does a worry become a problem? Well, normal levels of worry are really useful and it can help us lead the life we want to lead and it can help us solve problems. However, when it becomes excessive, it can leave us quite uh, demoralized and upset and it can also prevent us from having a life that we want to have. So that's what distinguishes normal and excessive worries. So in other words, if it starts interfering with your life, um, then it's time to do something about that. So what kind of worries do we have? Well, in the psychology terms, there are two main types, and these are hypothetical worries or real problem worries. So real problem worries are worries about something that is actually happening or has happened and we are actually having to deal with that. So, for example, in the current situation, a real worry would be um, having what to do with children, for example, when they're off school and um, having to work at home at the same from home at the same time. So that's a real worry and a problem that needs to be solved. What do I do with the children? However, a hypothetical worry is different. It's about an event that hasn't happened yet. So these are your what ifs, right? So an example of a hypothetical worry would be, I'm relatively young and healthy. However, I wonder if there is going to be enough ventilators for me if I go have to go to the hospital and if I have a coronavirus. So that's a hypothetical worry. It hasn't happened yet, but it's playing on my mind. Now, one of the ways we can help ourselves with excessive worries is making a distinction and asking ourselves, is this a real worry, a real problem worry, or is this a hypothetical worry? And if we ask ourselves, is this a real worry? And our answer is yes, then we can start brainstorming our actions and solutions to that. And we can actually start doing something about that. If the answer is no, this is not a real worry, it's a hypothetical worry, then we have to develop some strategies or use some strategies that can help us manage this worry that basically we cannot do anything about. And I will talk more about that in the video three.